welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining the broadcast. It's going to be a short one. As I'm strolling, I'm going to be talking to you. Thank you for connecting. Wherever you are connecting from, I appreciate you. If you are joining from Biafra land, thank you very much. We're joining from Europe, from America, Australia. Any part of the world you are joining from. Thank you, thank you for supporting. Thank you for joining. It's not something new. You already know why I come online from time to time. Of course, you know why I come online. There's no other reason why I come online but to come and talk about our freedom. That is why every time I come online to add my own opinion, say my own views on the things that are happening in Biafra land. As you all know, the pressure is increasing. It's not getting any time. It's not getting better. It's not getting better any soon. And don't expect it to get better any soon. But you got to be strong. Never give up. Thank you for joining. Chidi Ebere Mba, thank you so much for joining. Santiago James, thank you for joining. As you are connecting from any part of the world we are connecting from, thank you for joining. Our struggle will continue. We cannot give up no matter what they do, no matter what is going on around the world, no matter what the, the conspiracy of the world against the Biafran people. We cannot give up. The conspiracy is very clear. It's not something that is uh, hidden anymore. It's a very clear conspiracy against the Biafran people. The way things are being done, you can see the way the contraption called Nigeria, the zoo, are being supported against the Biafran people. That shows you that you have to fight for yourself and nobody's going to do that for you. We have to fight our battle. It's our battle and we have to take it upon ourselves to fight our battle and win it. Nobody's going to fight the battle for us and nobody's going to win the battle for us. You and I are going to win that battle by ourselves. That is the few truth. It's a bitter truth, but that is the situation. We have to fight our battle and win the battle by ourselves. Nobody's going to fight it for us. You can see with all the things that are happening, with all the killing that is happening in Biafra land, with all the support that the Caliphate is giving to the terrorist group, the United States is still giving them a support. The United States is leaving a ban on selling ammunition and opening a way to sell ammunition to the Janjaweeds. What are they going to use the ammunition for? Of course, to fight against the Biafrans. To fight against the innocent citizens in the contraption called Nigeria, the indigenous people. Already they are using their Tokono jet against the indigenous people. That is what they are doing. And it's not a propaganda. This is something that is happening and everybody knows about it. But yet, Joe Biden have decided to lift the band on the Nigeria. They started by removing their name from among the states that are persecuting Christians where people are being persecuted according to their religion. Every one of us know that that persecution is still happening. It's still going on on a very large scale. But yet, the contraption called Nigeria are not relenting. And the United States, seeing all this, they still went ahead to lift the band on that contraption for acquiring weapons. And they have been acquiring all those weapons ready to acquire more against Biafran people. How long shall we continue to listen to those cock and bull stories? How long shall we continue to wait? You don't have to wait. That is why Biafrans are no longer waiting. We are no longer waiting for anybody to fight for us or stand up for us. We are standing up for ourselves. And it's high time that every other indigenous tribe have to stand up also and do the needful. If you don't do it, nobody's going to do it for you. 
if you are waiting for your political group, you're waiting for politicians, you're waiting for your Hanese traditional rulers to do anything for you, of course, you have failed. You are just leaving yourself to be killed and destroyed. Most of you have saw, seen the video that's going viral. The latest video that came out where all the traditional rulers from different ethnic groups, different indigenous groups, none of them is exempted. They were all there to receive money from Asarok. They went to collect money from Asarok. Money for what? You see them assembling as they were coming out, each of them was coming out with either a bag or Ghana must go. Of course, it is not paper that is in that Ghana must go. It is money. They have money in it. They have money in it. But for the fact that they have money in it, does it change anything? It doesn't change anything. But what it tells you is a lesson. That you shouldn't hope on anybody to fight for you or anybody to stand for you. You got to stand up for yourself and fight your battle. That is the big lesson every one of us has to learn from that. That nobody anywhere is going to fight for you or fight for anybody. We have to fight for ourselves. That has been the situation. But sometimes we decide to pretend that it's going to be well. Some people will come and tell you, oh, it's going to be well. Be patient, exercise patience. No need fighting. Is going to change. If anybody is telling you that Nigeria is going to get better anytime, that person is deceiving you. That person should be your greatest enemy because that person is a great liar, an unrepentant liar. Even when you see that everything in that contraption called Nigeria is pointing to the fact that it will never get better, that is the truth. Everything in the contraption called Nigeria is pointing to the fact that it will never, ever get better. It will get worse by day. So when you see somebody trying to deceive you and tell you, don't fight, don't protest, don't do this, that person is a deceiver and you have to stay away from such people. They are the people that are keeping you in captivity. Some of them are traditional rulers. They are politicians. They are your brothers, they are your sisters. Some of them are in the same group with you, where you are. When you see them, they begin to promote One Nigeria. They will tell you to do something that Nigeria is going to be better. Talk about One Nigeria. But ask them, what is the plan towards the success of that One Nigeria? There's no plan whatsoever. No plan. Today, look at them talking about their 2023 election. All you hear from them is uh, where the president is going to come out from. That is the major issue they are discussing today. Where is the president going to come out from? Is he going to be from the southeast, southwest, the north, the middle belt? That is the most important thing that matters to them. And yet, somebody will come and tell you that Nigeria is going to work. It's not going to work. In a country that is going to work, you'll be talking about competence, somebody who is capable. You present your certificate to show how good you are. Not campaigning based on your tribe or whatever, taking advantage of others. But that is what happens. It doesn't matter how we deny it, no matter how you deny it, that is the obvious truth. Nigeria will never get better. It will get worse by day. So you better stand up and fight. The BR France are doing great work already. Demanding for the release of the symbol of justice. The only man that is justified, the only man that is clean. The only man that we have an evidence that we can testify and say, yes, we have seen what he has done. We have seen the foundation he led, a clear and true foundation. Only him and nobody else. He's only one person that we have seen. And today they kidnapped him, torturing him in DSS. And nobody is saying anything about it. Nobody is saying anything about it. You saw recently the information that the lawyers brought from him to change his clothes. They have refused him to change clothes. Even when the judge in the court said, give them the clothes, they gave the clothes to the DSS to carry the clothes and go so that they will not give any excuse. Gave them the clothes from the court to make sure they hand that clothes over to Mazen and they cannot change his clothes. Yet, they never did that. They didn't allow him to change clothes. And they didn't stop there. Now they are denying him food. They are denying Mazen and kind of food. He doesn't feed well where he is. They deny him food. Torturing him on daily basis. He's on in isolation. 
And nobody, all these politicians who are claiming to represent you, none of them is speaking about it. Nobody cares. Nobody wants to speak about it. Nobody wants to talk about it. They are busy talking about their people's trip, but their own son, who has given them that platform they are using today, the campaign for their so-called Igbo presidency. He's in captivity, suffering. His life in danger. Nobody is talking about it. All of them feel that it's okay. Well, Chukwu Kukabiyama will judge all of them. Chukwu Kukabiyama will judge all of them. Mazen Nandekan, what crime has he committed? The only crime he has committed is that he said that you should allow Igbos to go their separate ways since they are not wanted in the country of Nigeria. That you should allow them to go. Is that too much a request to make? That is not too much to ask for. Since you do not want them, allow them to go. A legitimate request that he made, simply allow them to go if you don't want them to be part of you. You don't want to allow them to go and you don't want them to be part of you. That is the only crime that Mazen Nanikan has committed. Today they want him dead by all means possible. You see why I don't even believe in the court of the enemy. We have been saying it. If you are sitting at home, sit at home more. Anything you know you can do to trigger the release of Mazen Nandekano, do it. You are the one that will release him. It is we that will release Mazen Nandekano. No judge anywhere, no lawyer. No arrest in the Igbo, no international community will release him. Because in their presence, you have seen what is happening. The judge in their presence said, allow him to change his clothes. Even the judge in the court tell them to hand over the clothes to the DSS so that they will not give any complaint. The clothes was handed over to the DSS. Yet, up to today, as you're watching this video, they have refused Mazen Nandekano from changing clothes. He's still wearing one clothes. And they didn't stop at that. They have been denying him food. They are denying him food, punishing him. He doesn't feed. And there's no outrage. You don't see people talking about it. Instead, you see people on their platform gossiping and talking about unnecessary things. Gossiping, fighting their brothers and sisters, talking about irrelevant things that doesn't have anything to add to them. Talking about issues that doesn't have anything to add to their own personal life. That is the situation we have found ourselves. But how long shall we continue on that path? How long? How long shall we continue on such path? It is sad, but that is the situation. What are we going to say because of that we're not going to be talking? We will continue to talk and speak up. Continue to create awareness that an innocent man is being held captive in the DSS. Innocent man is being denied access to food. All his rights is stripped out of him. They deny him all his rights. Every right that he has has been denied from him. And they want to take his life by all means possible. We must have to continue to talk about it, shout about it. It doesn't matter if they hear us or they don't hear us. But the most important thing is that we must have to continue to create awareness. And Bia France has to continue to fight. Be at alert. Don't give up. Only you can free yourself. Nobody, nobody anywhere in the planet Earth will free you. If you don't free yourself, you're on your own. Nobody's going to free you. It is you that will free yourself. And the earlier you wake up and begin to fight for your freedom, the better for you. The earlier you begin to fight for your freedom, the better for you. Because the enemy that we are up against are not relented in their effort. They are not coming down. Instead, they are increasing, they are increasing their attack. They are increasing their attack on daily basis, on different fronts. Trying on different angles to make sure they increase their attack and make things more difficult for people. Well, what are you going to do? Are you going to say because of that that you're not going to do what you're doing again? Of course, we cannot stop. No matter what they do, no matter the strategy, no matter the attack they bring, we will continue to speak up. We will continue to say it the way it is. We will continue to shout on top of our voices. We will continue to encourage our brothers and sisters who are fighting on different fronts. Victory is sure. Victory is sure. You can only delay, they can only delay it, but cannot deny us our victory. Our victory is definitely going to come. Definitely going to come. They cannot take it away from us. So whatever you are doing, keep on doing what you are doing. Increase your effort. The challenges is going to get tougher. It's going to get tougher. 
they are going to come with more attack, more strategy, more destruction as they are planning for their for their 2023 that will never come. The 2023 election that we consume every one of them as they are planning and pursuing it, we will continue to fight for our freedom. Mazen Nandekano remains the only figure that is going to restore peace in that contraption called Nigeria. If they refuse to release Mazen Nandekano, Nigeria will burn down. When we say it, they're expecting the time will come and throw bomb. It doesn't mean that we'll have to throw bomb or whatever. But Chukwu Kukabiyama is going to fight the battle. You have already seen it. The terrorists are already dealing with them in the north. And the other part of the country, you see what is going on. If they want to restore peace and growth in that contraption, the first step to do First step to take is to make sure they release Mazen Nandekan unconditionally without wasting time. But if they refuse, well, Mazen Nandekan will definitely come out. Chukwu Kigabiyama will free him. But yet, those who say he will not be freed will be consumed. Those who have said over their dead body, it is time for them to go. It is time for them to go. Let us continue to fight on all fronts. Do everything possible. Anything at your reach that you can do. To support Mazen and they can support the ESN also. Don't joke with the Monday seat at home. Do not joke with it. That is our greatest weapon that we have for now. One of the greatest weapons we have for now. Monday seat at home. Don't joke with it. Then support the ESN the best way you can. If you know any way you can support the ESN, go ahead and support them. Go ahead, support them. It's the right thing to do. And believe you me, very soon we are going to be free. And Mazen Nandekano is going to be free and he's going to raise the flag of Biafra very soon. No matter what they do, they will kill us. We will kill them. But at the end of the day, Biafra will definitely come. No man born of a woman can stop it. And it's already here. It's already here. Thank you so much for watching. Wherever you are watching from, I appreciate you. And I thank you very much for your contributions on the channel. Share the video in your platform. Share it to family and friends. Continue to preach the gospel of peace. Encourage our brothers and sisters in Biafra land mainly. Encourage them. It's not easy. They are facing a great challenge. Sitting at home against all odds, against all the attack. You have to encourage them. Let us continue to encourage them and pray that things get better as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching wherever you are watching from. And remember, us. see you again tomorrow. Bye. Are yet to wake up from your slumber or your sleep and get the point that we are exiting Nigeria. Exiting Nigeria is not going to come from the platter of Godi plate. You have to sacrifice for it. And we are ready to sacrifice everything, including you. If you come and stand in the way of freedom. So you need to know how serious we are. We are damn serious. Some of you are not getting it. You think we are here to, to make to build political movement? We are here for freedom. Freedom come with price. Okay? The only thing you can do is to comment on social media. Don't ever stand on the way of Biafra freedom. We we'll crush you. Their interest is suppressed. Biafra is the key. Once they can hold Biafra down, they can hold the whole of Africa down. <laughs> Hey, hey, freedom fighting, sorry. Because all these people are criminals, they are saying there is no way this man cannot be a criminal like themselves. They don't have a different breed altogether. They don't know that. I am a Nam Kano. I don't do all this nonsense you do. My father was a very rich man, not ostentatious. I had the finest education that his money could afford. We are not poor. Have never been. That is why a poor man cannot be a freedom fighter. If you are not full of yourself, you cannot be a freedom fighter. <laughs> you go everywhere. We must continue.